All right, guys, we need to talk. My name is Rusty. Welcome back to another video. I didn't want to make this video, uh, tell you the truth, because uh, a lot of people had questions. A lot of people knew, I guess, where this channel was going and uh, what's going on with the world right now. And I just wanted to do a Q&A, I guess. First ever Q&A. My name is Rusty. Sit back, relax, and hopefully you enjoy these questions and answers. So I guess the whole point of this video is gonna be the future of my channel, where all of this is going. And yeah, I'm sitting in front of uh, two semis, my friend's truck and my truck right here. A lot of you guys that are subscribed, you guys know I am a truck driver. I also rebuild stuff and I'm a busy guy. I try to be, I got a family. There's uh, some questions here that I do wanna answer. There's some questions that I'm not gonna answer because a lot, a lot of you guys are a-holes, you know, and I like that. That's that's what that's what drives me, you know. That's what drives me, and uh, I guess we can start talking about Ukraine real quick. Uh, the first couple questions I did a community post on YouTube. All you guys had a lot of questions about Ukraine, about trucking, about my life. I'm gonna be a little vivid about my life. I don't wanna express a lot of things. Also, I don't do these kind of videos a lot. My face is never shown in any of my videos because uh, my videos aren't about me. Uh, my videos is about the experience and learning. So a lot of people watch my videos to learn about trucking or rebuilding something, fixing something. And so it's about that, it's not about me. This one's gonna be a little different. It's not gonna be about me, it's about what's going on in the world and my channel. So I guess it is about me a little bit. One out of 200 videos about me, I think I'll take it, okay? So we'll go to the first question. And the first question is by a guy named Random. Uh, thank you, Random, for the question. My question is, when it's done and you're gonna use the Volvo that you are rebuilding as your truck for owner-operator instead of the Cascadia? So I think your question is, when I'm done rebuilding my Volvo, am I gonna use it as owner-operator, right? I guess that was the question, instead of this Cascadia right here that I'm leasing. And, uh, the answer is I don't know. Uh, I don't own a house yet, and my dream is uh, to get my family into a house, and that semi I can sell and buy a house. Or in a year or two, I can owner operator the Volvo and make that money back so much easier. So I don't know, I'm sorry. The, the, the answer is I have no clue yet. But uh, in the next couple months, everybody's gonna find out, and me. Uh, next question, enthusiast car hanger. My question is, where are you from originally? Some say Russia, others say Ukraine. I also heard Slovenia and Slovakia. My guess is Russia or Ukraine, and no matter what country, I am sorry for the situation. It's bad for everyone involved. Hang in there, Rusty. So thank you, car hanger. I am not from Russia. I do speak both languages. I am from Ukraine. I don't wanna give out the city that I'm from. I don't want you investigators over there starting ch -ch 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 doing your investigations and figure out who I am, my birthday, my social security number. Please don't do that. But yeah, I am from Ukraine. I did grow up there and I am living in the States about 20 years now. I am in my mid thirties. So uh, you guys can guess how long I've lived in Ukraine. I have visited there a couple times. I do really wanna talk about what's going on there, but I think I'm gonna further on in a video, I will express my feelings about all of this. So we're gonna keep going. Uh, Theodra Story, I'm not sure, I'm probably not saying that right. Uh, you asked, hello Rusty, I'm honored to write that message for you from Makaro. Have you ever heard about Mar Morocco? I can't even talk right right now. Are you from Russia? And what do you think about the war in the future? There goes another Russia question. No, I am not from Russia. I do speak both languages, like I said, but I am from Ukraine. What do I think about the war in the future? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a start to something new. I'm just praying that it doesn't happen, but I am getting ready for it. It is, it is about nuclear war, and I just don't wanna say it because it's just such a bad word to say, and I, I just feel like it is going there and uh, the end times are near. I, it's so depressing to even say, but I'm just, I'm trying to spill to you guys a little bit because I just, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say because what's happening there, it's our brothers attacking brothers. That is actually end time quotes right there. And it's just so sad. I just. Next question, Louis Alcaraz. Uh, he says, how do you feel about the invasion of Ukraine? You've been 
you being Russian, have you ever dealt with anyone giving you crap since this has started? What do you think the outcome of this, especially for your channel? Okay, I'm Ukrainian. I, I, why does everybody think I'm Russian? It's, it, it is similar, but it, it is not. And so I guess your question is, uh, how do I feel about the invasion of Ukraine? The genocide that's going on there right now, I have family members, I have friends, over a couple dozen, and it's, it, it's hard to, you know, it, it, it's just hard to just think about them calling and texting and me calling and texting saying, how is it? Are you guys still okay? Everything okay? Some people have fled, especially the younger women and kids. Uh, adult males, some of the younger ones have fled also because they don't have military experience. They do not want to pick up arms. Yeah, how do I feel about it? How do you think I feel about it? How about uh, if you guys live in the US and all of a sudden, uh, I don't know, Mexico, Canada, just invaded you guys and everybody's going into panic and shock and explosions are happening everywhere martial law gets i mean i just it's so surreal that i feel like i'm i'm there and i don't it's sad and uh the worst part is it is in eastern europe and the whole world is scared how do i feel about it not good I guess your other question was how do I feel like being Russian to deal with all this since it started I'm not Russian by the way but we can start with that I do have a lot of Russian friends here in the States we can talk about the younger generation Russians right now the people that are Russian Russian and uh, the people that live in the States they understand so they understand it's bad invading another country just to pretend to get your land back they think it's their land but that, that's like whatever but there is the other side of things I watch I am I am not political in any way, but I do watch both sides of the story and I watch Russian news and then I watch the Western news. There is a whole nother side to this. I don't even want to say his name, the P word, Vladimir over there. His side is that Ukraine has militia groups that I already forgot what he called them, but they're neo-Nazi group that wants to inflict damage to Russia. They think that Russia is the worst thing in the world or something like that. Those groups are real. I'm not gonna lie here, those groups are real in Ukraine, but they are such a small group. I mean, they're such a small group that it does not even inflict how big Ukraine is. And the problem he's using those neo-Nazis to invade Ukraine because they, he says they're a threat to Russia, which they were not. They are not even close to being a threat to Russia. So you guys can do your own research. What I'm talking about here, I just don't wanna get into this whole big spiel about those neo-Nazi groups and it's just such, I mean, it was like the same thing as those people wearing all black in America. What were they called again? Uh, during all those riots that, that I, f I forgot what they were called. I didn't even wanna, I didn't wanna think about them. So it's the same thing, it's just a group that causes violence and stuff like that. So there was this group in Ukraine that was evolved and they infiltrated the Ukrainian army at this one point and they say they're still there, but they're actually not. And it just, it's okay, so yeah. There's that, and I understand uh, R Russia using that to invade Ukraine because their whole sole purpose is to take over Ukraine back because they think it belongs to them, but it doesn't. Uh, Ukraine was there even before Moscow existed, so do your research, guys, about that. I don't wanna, I'm just getting angry, and I don't wanna get angry, USA. I just, okay, thanks for the, thanks for the question, uh, but we're gonna move on. Daniel, 2500 asks i pray for your family is safe when did you first come to the states and what is your story on coming here so i kind of already said this i came to the states i don't want to say exactly you investigators are going to start researching my social security number and stuff so i mean yeah when i came to the states i'm, I'm in my mid 30s we bailed out of there maybe like 20 years ago so you guys can do some calculations about that story on coming here is my dad wanted a better, better life for our family. We were a family of four already or three. And he just, he knew what the outcome of the situation was there. And we got visas and we were permanent residents in the, uh, in the States for a little bit. We mainly lived uh, in North Carolina for all, all our life. And then now we're in Florida while well, I'm in Florida. So yeah, thank you for the question. Hitcham Umalk, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly your question is what do you think as a russian of the decision to invade ukraine again i'm not russian i think everybody's going to know the difference from ukraine and russian after this war is over if 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 it ever ever is going to be over uh yeah the decision is obviously not fair uh in his eyes it's fair and he needed to do this but yeah yeah i 
John SWE asked, hey, John here, what's your favorite part about trucking? Oh, thank God, something else other than the war. My favorite part about trucking in America is I think the money. I mean, it has to be the money, right? It has to be the money. I mean, other than that, my other favorite thing about trucking is you have time for yourself to think. Uh, I have a lot of children at home, uh, I have a wife, uh, and I don't have time for myself there at all. There's crying, there's screaming, there's, you know what I'm saying? You don't have time, but when I'm in a truck and I just have time to think, listen to stories, educate myself while I'm on the road, and the money. Yeah, my favorite part's right there. <laughs> B9Bot1 asks, hey Rusty, comment what you think. Is it just Putin wanting this section, this action against Ukraine, or do you think the Russian people back the invasion? My own opinion is I think only Putin want this military action. Stories of young Russian soldiers that were fooled into thinking they were just doing a military practice mission, not actually going to war and invading Ukraine. Very sad what is happening right now. Too many people are suffering because of that one man, Vladimir. I don't want to say your last name. A couple questions there. What what do I think? And you're correct actually about the soldiers and stuff. Yeah, his actions is 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 mainly not to take out the neo-Nazis, which is the smallest group in the nation. Like it's a small, small amount of people, and he just used ah oh, man, I just I don't want to get angry. I don't want to read any more of these questions, but I'm gonna keep going just for you guys. And yeah, thanks uh, B9Bot for your questions. Everybody is suffering. A lot of people from Ukraine, if they still have internet by now, uh, they will watch this video. Hoping everybody is safe, everybody is alive. And if this is ever over or we all get drafted, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to kill my own brothers. Russian people, Ukrainians, nobody wants this. Everybody wants peace, it's been so long. I, I was born into uh, the Soviet Union collapse. Don't know why we're still doing this. Microwave a Ford, nice name by the way, Microwave a Ford. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing during this whole situation? Well, you quit your job to go fight. I did not even want to talk about this. Why am I reading all the, uh, okay. Microwave afford and everybody, I guess. Since you asked, do I want to go fight for Ukraine? The easy answer is yes, I do for my homeland, but I have too much to lose. I guess the other answer is no, I'm not going to. I do want to, but I'm not going to. I have too much to lose. First of all, I don't want to start World War Three by myself. I have the government actually is gonna find out about this a little later, but I have a lot of friends already going over there to fight. American citizens are going over there to fight and I don't, I, I try to stop them and they try to talk me into it and I can't because I, if they find out American citizens are going over there to die, American finds out and Russians find out, it's World War III and I do not wanna start that. I do not wanna start World War III because of that. And secondly, I have too much to lose. I have a family here. I have I have other deeds here. It just it, it, it's it's a risk I can't take. So, yeah. Thanks for the question. All right. Next question. Heineken eighty three. Are you Russian or Ukrainian? I'm Ukrainian. Thanks for the question. Uh, Parent Al Mashami. I'm I'm probably butchering that name, but your question is: What is your gross income for a whole year, roughly, including taxes and expenses, trucking for a company versus owner lease? I can't answer all of that, but I can give you a rough estimate. When I used to work for the company, all my previous trucking videos, my total, I think, I, I, I was two weeks on, two weeks off, uh, roughly, you know, so my total was about 65 to 70 grand a year. That's not much, but that that's that's a lot, I guess. Owner lease, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I, can't, I can't say exactly because I haven't had a full year of owner lease. I only had about, uh, I think seven months or six months of owner lease because the rest of the months was still uh, with, uh, with the trucking company. But within those seven, I can tell you it was about 85. If you can guess right there, it substantially a lot more. And I also did like two weeks on, two weeks off because I had, sh I was sharing the truck with somebody else. So thank you for the question. J Jamangari boy, what do you think about India? Lots of love from India. What do I think about India? I have so much people watching me from India. I was so surprised how much people, I looked at my algorithm and I'm like, 
so much people and thank you Indians and uh, even American Indians much love from you I see so much comments from India and thank you guys thank you for commenting thank you for smashing like one of my highest viewing people and uh, yeah what I think about India I love you guys I love everybody uh, it's not only India everybody I mean India has uh, I think they have the Western world's back right stop the scamming maybe you know what I'm saying not just you guys you know like <laughs> I'm just joking yeah but yeah love you guys appreciate it for the question we got Bryn C turtle gaming I'm probably butchering that again what is your favorite city in the USA and will you visit it someday that rhymed uh, thanks for the question uh, I don't have a favorite city favorite state I traveled through a lot a lot is Texas and Kentucky I lived around that North Carolina South Carolina Georgia area a lot Florida you know I live in Florida I love Florida Northeast Florida it's my favorite like the weather the wind the ocean it's not my favorite though I think my favorite state to visit not not live there but visit is Kentucky I don't know what it is about Kentucky the roads there just the atmosphere you go to a truck stop there just anywhere everybody's so nice texas too i don't know which city but all of texas uh not i guess not the western texas western texas like eh 50 50. east texas yeah east yeah yeah texas kentucky florida my opinion thank you for the question cohen johnson what do you think about the freedom convoy uh, I'm, I'm guessing uh the trucker the truckers freedom convoy you're talking about what do i think about it i like what they're doing i i support the truckers i understand what they're doing i'm all for you guys i understand what the ottawa also the canada drivers are doing that was messed up what they did to them i support you guys 100 percent. there is a but i would have done it totally different so after especially the the canada ones you drove up to the parliament and you protested there but right when there was an order for all you guys to leave i would have done so i understand why you didn't i wouldn't have either i think i would have done it slightly different i would just stop delivering there that's all you need to do you still need to make money i need to still to make money this convoy in america that's happening are they making money while doing that convoy i don't think so i can't do that i need to support my family best thing to do is we should all have an agreement do not deliver to new york state imagine that oh sorry new york island how about that nobody delivered to the island nobody for about a month nobody delivered to the major cities i don't think it's impossible i think it's impossible to deliver to la so we don't have to do that but to one major city just stop delivering everything groceries items everything and then see what happens washington too how about that and just stop delivering there completely and it's going to be chaos and that's what we should do but thank you for the question eagle brink butchering that name probably too my question is what would you like to say to vladimir putin shouldn't have said that shouldn't have said the p word what would you like to say to him if i was face to face to him i am a christian man but i don't have the power to expel demons uh, i would take a couple of preachers and pastors with me and i would circle him and we will pray i think that's what, what I would have done. Uh, we would just pray and try to try it that way. Uh, a lot of people, that answer is probably not what they wanted to hear. They were like, you wanted to, you know? No, that's not the answer, you know? It, imagine somebody doing that. What would the Russians think? The, the Russian people that have all this propaganda spill to them. So much people, Russians, that live in Russia, 70% of them agree with Putin. Can you imagine that? What would they think about it? Putin getting assassinated nothing good about the Western world we need to change their mentality we can't we, we need to change them somehow I just I'm one person I can't do anything so yeah what would I say to him nothing try, try to get a couple priests and pastors and try to expel the demon I mean thank thank you for the question uh worry abnur sifak dude i can't i can't dude i can't pronounce your name i'm sorry dude you talk about the world but i really feel bad for our country united states because the fuel prices are going crazy i'm owner operator i feel you bro when this video is made it's five dollars a gallon for diesel it's hurting me you know i i used to make like <laughs> couple thousand more a week and now what you can't do nothing you got to drive more to make more but you spend more because diesel expensive so was that even a question why did i even read this but yeah thank you for i i butchered dude i i butchered your day bro i'm sorry i, I can't even say any of that hopefully that's not a bad word in some languages but th thanks for the question that wasn't even a question okay let's move on uh space burb burb will you go fight against russia 
in Ukraine. Again, no, I won't. I want to. I, I will supply them whatever with whatever I need. Oh, talking about fighting against uh, them, uh, scams going on right now, uh, against supporting Ukraine, sending money to Ukraine, uh, generals in Ukraine, sending cryptocurrency to Ukraine. 98% they're scams, guys, please. This video is gonna come out ASAP. I, right when I record this, I'm trying to upload it that day. So please do not send money there unless it's your family members or you know that person personally. Do not send money anywhere. And everybody's using this war for profit it's every time there's a war this happens please do not send money there please unless you know that person so yeah thank you for the question i guess abdi mu 18 why did you buy that one excavator from the army prayers for out to you and your family yeah a lot of people asked about that that excavator that military or was it a military excavator yeah i think i bought it because i had this property i bought and i bought the property with this ugly trailer on there i was going to use that excavator for a video and just tear down that trailer piece by piece blow it up shoot it up do something with it you know it was going to be a fun video to do plans changed and i just demoed it uh without my excavator it was a lot easier that diesel is gonna uh, man i was i just demoed the property didn't even record none of it didn't even want to show the property a lot of people you guys are like a little investigators you would do your own thing and investigate and find out where i live and yeah i'm not down for that but thanks for the question michael then you, you, michael just no numbers or anything behind it nice what are you gonna do with the volvo sell or keep with the prices of used semi trucks i say you sell it then use the proceeds as down payment for the new truck but me knowing you sharing your lease truck with your friend and i say sell it and continue sharing the lease truck don't forget to give the volvo money to the wifey <laughs> yeah she got plenty of credit cards she's using my money wisely i think uh what are you gonna do with the volvo sell or keep like i said the other i think somebody else just had a question about it i don't know yet i do want to sell it and you're right the lease thing around here with this thing me sharing the truck it's nice and simple and i'm still making good money without all the hassle of owning a semi truck and repairing it yourself so yeah i do want to sell it and i do want a house so i don't know i don't know we'll see thank you for the question though i l k b n s i don't even know what that stands for but you said do you still have family there super sad i guess you're talking about ukraine because i put the ukraine flag on a comment thing uh yes a lot of family a lot of friends um uh, have a lot of friends here with family there so it feels like my family also <sighs> thank you thank you for the question stuart young why don't you go help your country and the people if it was my country i would fight till the death i just explained why i wouldn't why i want to but why i wouldn't so thanks thanks for the question billy boy where were you born ukraine my friend ukraine thank you for the question the annoying banana nice name are you joining the freedom convoy just explained that i support all you guys what you're doing with the freedom convoy am i joining you i can't i can't if i was owner operator and it was my fuel maybe if it was around where i live but i need to support my family and like i said i don't think what you're doing is correct i do support you on it but i, I don't think you're doing it the right way just do not deliver to the main capital new york just big apple and see what happens from there i think that's the right way to do it but thank you for the question anyways and we got the jam boach butchering that name again will you ever return to russia bro i'm not russian okay thanks for the question though s salatis bro butchering it again are you going back to defend your country there's a lot of similar questions maybe i should just ignore these i just explained it but thank you for your question we got a lot more and they're pretty similar questions uh we got are you against the dictator putin i mean i think everybody from this video uh should understand how i feel about everything i i without questions anymore and the video is going to come to an end but i want to explain something there is uh propaganda on both sides there is russian propaganda i watch both of the sides actually both propagandas and then the western propaganda ukraine itself is spilling out about 20 percent propaganda also fake pictures fake videos from like four years ago stuff like that but 80 percent what's coming out of ukraine is real and a lot of people have to understand the war is real and a lot of russians they have just grown up on the fact of lies and propaganda but i do understand it's hard when you lived 
through 40 years of propaganda and then you come to the Western world and you still think you're living in a lie because you're still watching the Russian news and it's sad. But I do understand. It's really hard to be brainwashed and then be brainwashed out of it. It's just... And I don't blame the Russian people. I go to church with a lot of Russian people. 50% of them are Russian, maybe even more. I don't blame them. I don't. I just, I want peace. I think that's what everybody wants. This whole young generation wants it. Just this one guy doesn't care. It's almost the end of his lifetime. He wants to create a legacy and he's doing it. And this is not gonna stop there. Uh, this is gonna be coming to an end of this video. I just wanna say something. There will be nukes dropped in the next forecoming future. If you guys do read the Bible, uh, there are signs everywhere and uh, I'm, I'm not a holy man. I, I don't know the Bible inside and out. I do want to start and uh, I just wanna live in peace. That's all I want. I want my country to be in peace. I want Russia to be in peace. I want them to have freedom. I want everybody to have freedom. It's hard to have that sometimes when there's a person that wants to build a legacy and that's my opinion on it. So I appreciate it guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short Q&A. It might be too long actually. It might be like 20, 25 minutes. I'm sorry about that. Keep watching my videos. This video is off topic completely. And uh, I've never done this before. First Q&A. And thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody is blessed. Live in peace. And pray. Thank you. Deuces.